Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome my guest at this time, the holder of both WWE Tag Team Championships, Hulk Hogan. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a brand new episode of Pretty Great Hot Warriors. New improved arena, new theme song, and everything. I'm Glenn Barker, former I'm not doing anyway, alongside my good buddy Bradley. What's up, everybody? We've got Carl, who is the owner, well, booker owner of AEW. Hello, everybody. And of course, we have JJ from the World Wrestling Federation. This works for Hogan, brother. <laughs> and lastly but not least, the owner of the reincarnated NWA, Tom. Boo this man! Boo <laughs> this man! Mr. Hogan, tonight, you you have said you were to make a statement. Because ever since you won the Tag Team Championships, due to Ric Flair revealing a loophole within the contract, Instead of you holding the World Heavyweight Championship and Stain and Warrior holding the Tag Team titles, you hold both the Tag Team Championships. So Mr. Hogan, could I please get your thoughts and your answer to what, to what you were saying on Twitter about, about all of this? Well, let me tell you something, Brother Gregory. Our fortunate sons, me and my Hulkamaniacs, along with the Ultimate Warrior and the returning Sting, we only got part of the job done, brothers. Because I tell you something, we were able to prevent the clean sweep that that stable was going through in Paris, France. However, though, Ric Flair was right. I did look at the fine prints, and I was too damn blind not to notice that in the fine print, that only one man would be pinned, either the world title or the tag team toss would change hands. And it just so happened that within the heat of the moment, I thought that if I pinned any one of the guys in Fortune, I was going to get that world heavyweight title, come what somewhat may. But unfortunately, I pinned the wrong man, and that was Sheamus, and I ended up getting the victory anyway. But regardless of that, brothers, we were partially successful in taking the gold, at least some of the gold, off of Fortune, that being the tag team titles. And as I did say on Twitter, man, I've been defending these tag bouts and house shows with three random partners of my own choosing, and they were proven to be on even levels with the Hulkster, man. Each time I came on top, the victories mattered more. It didn't no matter how many times that were put in front, Hulkamania always walked up with his head up high. But I've got to be totally honest, man. I've got to be totally honest, and I think you can be honest with me too, Gregory, man. These tag team titles are a little bit too much for Hulk Hogan to handle. And what do I mean by that? Well, I did say, come through hell high water, I was going to get the World Heavyweight Championship of Finn Balor, man. So, this is how it's going to go, Ric Flair, brother. If you really think that you could just fool me like that once, don't think you're going to fool me again, brother. Because these tag team titles, as much as prestige and money that will make for me, I don't think they are worthy for me to hold anymore, brother. So from this point moment on, these tag team titles are no longer in my possession. So, with the respect and the climate that I always bring. I hereby self-vacate these belts because a worthy tag team here oh, in WWE boy. should rightfully hold these. As much as I would <laughs> love to have a single partner, perhaps any one of these Hulkamaniacs here tonight would be worthy to be at Hulk Hogan's side, but that's just not gonna happen, man. Well, it is nice to know down. that I did hold these tag team belts 
these will not last forever, man, because I need... No, 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 I don't need... I'm gonna get that World Heavyweight title. Come through hell high water. So Finn Balor, you I want these belts. belts. What a pittance. Because the man with the 24 inch <laughs> pythons, the master of Hulkamania, is coming for you, man. Do you accept a rematch? Are you mad enough to come out and accept it? Are you really mad enough to look at Hulk Hogan dead in these eyes, man? The because fans. if I could show how it beat Shane in the dreams, Tom. That's how Earthquake happened. Can beat the prince of the WWE. So what's it gonna be, Balor? Do you accept the rematch? Well, Hogan's throwing that rematch challenge, but at least he didn't throw down the tag belts, though. Um, so now we're gonna have a, now we've got vacated oh, okay. titles now. So looks like we're gonna have to new give tag team champions. I was just uh, give you an update, uh, guys. Uh, this uh, is uh, the first qualifying match of the uh, Art of War Rumble that we're going to be having, and this is the first one starting with Drew Gerlach and Zack Sabre Jr., two technical wrestlers who have actually known each other before coming to this company. So far, they so far they've been on the mat, and look at this! Oh, Sabre Jr. Oh, wow. dragon what a suplex! Two technical wrestlers going back and forth. We saw them. Uh, go at each other in the Battle Royal at Fortune and Sons, oh. and oh. many people thought they should be able to what a fight unique, again. What a unique maneuver there, and Sabre comes down with a drop. Oh, and a, a tornado missing Yuku Driver there almost, and will that be it? And it does it! Zack Sabre Jr. is the first man to qualify into the Art of War Rumble. Thank God. Well, Zack Zach, Zach, Zach Sabre Jr. is about ten times the rest of the Gulak is, so that's no surprise. Well, we're going to do this have... next match. There's another Wesley, qualifying match. Uh, Wesley, Martin Stone. And there Axiom. Is third man. Oh, wow. A triple threat, yep. Yeah. This is another Art of War uh, qualifier. These, these three men. Uh, many say that uh, Axiom probably should have won that uh, at Battle Royal uh, back in Paris, but... Well, yeah. we're getting a cruise and save maneuvers here. Oh, Jesus, it's going to be a tower of London. The London Bridge. Oh, look flying out. all over the place. That was the London Bridge by Martin Stone. And oh, look out. Ball. Well, it is an ODQ match. Oh, a knockout blow by the Governor of Martin right in Wesley's face. Would that be it? It is. It is. Oh, wow. Axiom was, Axiom was just too slow there. <laughs> oh. Typical, typical, typical Terry. Ooh, this man as well. Uh, I knew he wouldn't be able to hold on to those titles for very long. Well, that's one piece of business off of my shoulders right now. All right, let's see if I can go deal now with... Excuse me, Mr. Flair. Oh, God! Gregory, why do you gotta keep <laughs> jumping out at people like that? Sorry, Mr. Flair. Old habits die hard. But now, Mr. Flair, could I please get your thoughts on it? On a... Uh, on Hulk Hogan vacating the tag titles. And what does this mean for the Fatal 4-Way later this week? Your thoughts? Mr. Gregory Helms, you of all people should know that this means absolutely nothing. I knew Terry couldn't hold on to the tag titles for very long. All those replacement partners that he dealt with, those were just people that filled out were roster fillers because they had nothing else to do. Although this does put me in a little bit of a bind. Because now I have to find another team for Terry. Although Big Daddy Cool Diesel does need another need a partner, but that's a different story. But now, Mr. Gregory Helms, I have a whole stat thing I have to deal with. You see, I have Carry on Cross taking on Omas for the European Championship. I've decided to raise the stakes. That matchup is going to be a tables match. Jesus. And my son-in-law, Andrade, defending the television championship against Tucker Knight, of all people. How the hell does that happen? <laughs> <laughs> and then my lovely Ducky daughter, Ducky got it. daughter, Charlotte Flair, the queen defending her championship against Tamina. And now we are going to and now that fatal four-way tag team tag team match is going to be for the vacant tag team championships. 
but I don't know who I'm going to team Diesel with. I've offered him several different partners, but he jetknifed every single one of them. <laughs> Doug Williams. Oh, Lord. Devon Dudley. And Buff of the Hughes brothers. <laughs> All of them were jetknifed by Diesel. That's why you haven't seen them. Well, that explains that. But that's not all, yep. Terry. That's not all, Gregory. That's not all. You already saw two Art of Art of War Art of War Rumble qualifiers I'm happening sure. earlier. This week is gonna this t mayhem in London in tour. This is week. gonna be <laughs> and have several, on the piss drunk again, lads. Several, several, several Quick, different Glenn, Art get of some War qualifying in front matches. Of him. <laughs> already got it. We're I think you got into your Prosecco and turns, uh, an amazing Prosecco stash. You sign He's here, Rick. But no, I does not I also know how to handle Prosecco day, like I do. Wanting, re wanting a rematch against the Elite. Though the Elite, oh? they beat them fair and square. Mm -hmm, they so did. now I'm going to give them their rematch. But it's not just going to be any six man tag match. No, 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 no. This matchup will determine. The very first WWA World Trios Champions. Whoa, new oh, battle of the line, lads. Oh, yes. Terry, Wait a second. You want to They're face six man, but you know, you want Ray doesn't to know face that. him for the World Heavyweight Championship? Yeah, he was. Fine. But Not Theodore Long, you know, Carl. under my terms, <laughs> you go through a fortune gauntlet. You complete uh -oh. that gauntlet. Then Whoa. you will get Finn Balor. That's going to be tough for Hogan. At the very end of the tour. So now the question for you, Terry. What you going to do when fortune runs wild on you? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Rick is very calm there. We'll see about that. Here we go, guys. We've got a tables match. First time one in WWA history, and it's for Kevin Cross's European title. Cool boy. Stakes are raised for this one, lads. Yeah, yeah, you ain't kidding. Look at this. Oh, wait, a wait a second, wait a second. Oh. I mean, seriously, if you're taking on someone like Omos, how in the world do you get this man down? Oh my god! 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 Oh my Oh my god! 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 Oh my God, that's hot! Whoa! Through hellfire and brimstone! It's uh -oh. Kevin and a What are they doing oh. here? Oh, you know what Kane's out here? Oh, I have a feeling what they're doing here. And it ain't for both good these, things. These two men, they both had a shot at their carrying cross. It was crossing the beat Kane for his European title. And this didn't win it. But now they have something in common. They both have a hatred. Across, yeah, as if, now, as if the ire of one of these guys wasn't enough, you've drawn the ire of both of them. And uh, oh, we do God. apologize for this uh, weird camera angle, guys. Uh, Get out. Oh. We, oh, we, we had to borrow a camera oh, guy no! from AEW and a bit. Oh, no, shit! Well, there goes wrong our table, guys. At the wrong time, carrying cross. There's Next more time, guys. you won't be so lucky. And consider it a lesson to be learned, but as a warning to fortune, because their worst nightmare has only just begun. And now, on to a much more serious matter. 2024 has not been a good year so far for Cain or for Abyss. But it's not all doom and gloom, for the year has yet to continue. We are going to rebound strongly and prove in the tag team division as to why we are the most dominant. Drew McIntyre and Sheamus, the kind of connection have been laying down every challenge that have come their way. That was until 
They lost the tag titles in the main event at Fortunate Sons. But that now lies as an opportunity for Kane and Abyss to seek out more gold to their legacy. Oh, the tag teaming division. You better watch out, because now my instruments of destruction are now focused. They are now ready to take on any challenge that comes their way. One by one, we will take down all who oppose us. And Fortune, you better be on the lookout, because no matter what you will do, Hellfire and Brimstone will prevail. And eventually, when it is all said and done, Cain and Abyss will soon not just have tag team gold, but they will soon target the rest. They will soon go back for the European title, regardless who it lands with. But then, oh yes, as my premonition is now beginning to come to fruition, it will happen. At some point, the World Heavyweight Championship of the WWE will return. Either my son, Kane, or my monster abyss. One of the two will hold the prize in possession, and eventually, Coming one back of to them the family. will step on top of the world and reign supreme. Oh, fortune, your nightmare. Oh, your worst nightmare has only just begun. Oh, yes. The Paul Bearers laid it down, guys. The Biss and Kane won yep, tag yep. team gold. Watch out, tag Kane. team division. That's all I got to say. Biss and Kane, they won a tag team turmoil match, and they will be facing the winner of the fiddle four way match. All right, and now we have a women's tag. Action. That's right. Emma Sakurai and Penelope Four taking on Sky Blue. Here's, here's my favorite. Sky Blue. Leo. Blue. Here in Sky Blue, you mean up? I want to clean up. We have we have four former AW talents in the ring in a WWE ring. Who the thunk it? Oh, yeah, very, uh, very elite Sky. match here as uh, Rio comes down with a. The plancher. Yeah. Let's not forget the new for first AEW Women's Champion. Yeah. Whoa! Wow, oh, a nice pin there by uh, Rio. Give, give that cameraman a raise. <laughs> and oh, nice one by Rio. New and whoever booked this has my Sky support. Blue. Look out! Oh! Oh! Change of Dusty Rose there. But a nice yeah, give that cameraman a raise as well. Oh, oh Blue, look at that, through the rope. He's going to be paid better than the president at this rate. Oh, oh man, whoa! Oh, oh, what a move! Roadbreaker off the road. Wow! Yeah. I guess so, man. And a great win for Sky Blue. We love to after, see it. After an impact like that, there was no way Penelope was getting up from that. Well, well ladies and gentlemen, is that what I think it is? Yes, it I is. I recognize that music. He can't it's the be Japanese here. legend. We always said Hello. there was one little Kento, but there's another one out there. He's the master of the hottest shops right. in Japan. Oh. Okay, retired in 2013. I mean, I can see his name. Yeah, wait a second. That's, that's Kenta not Kenta. Kenta. That's Kenta Kobashi. That is a legend. The Yep. The man who so, took Samoa Joe to the limit in 2005 in Ring of Honor and arguably yep. the most so respectful ben Balor, wrestler in the business. But ben Balor once again was talking on uh, Twitter saying that he was throwing out an open challenge to anyone who was brave enough to face him and it looks like Kenta Kobashi is the one who's going to face him. This is not going to be easy for Ben Balor because this is Kobashi here ladies and gentlemen. This guy is arguably the toughest in Japan. I mean, like he's been through so him. many. He's been through so many battles, but this is his WWA debut, and he's going yeah, for the he's, gold. He's gotten in fantastic shape over the last few years. I mean, it's got to be said that Finn Balor is, you know, the better or worse, whether you like him or don't like him, he is a fighting champion. He has been putting his belt on the line against everybody and anybody. 
up and down the road here in England for the past I mean, few months. I mean, and I talked to Rip Flair earlier, and he is not happy about the fact that Finn Balor has been defending the championship whenever he wants. He's been putting the belt on the line against everybody. He is, he is a fighting champion to be sure, to be sure, whether you like him or not. I mean, yeah, he's beat Rikishi, West Play, um, Xavier Woods, and now Kanto's up on the list. I mean, tell you, I tell you what, if, if this, if he can get the job done, then Val will earn some respect and make that world title mean something. I'm telling you, this is definitely going to be something. Oh, Balor's guys, work out, guys. This is, like Carl said, whatever your thoughts on Finn Balor, it's going to be a hell of a matchup here. There's only one way to go. And look at this, Bell. Oh, not a good idea, Balor. You're chopping at Kenta. That's not a good idea. Yeah, don't yeah, don't chop the chop master. Yeah, that's not going to work. Look at that. Oh, oh there you go wow. again. Sir. Burning hammer. And that's oh. why. Burning that is hammer. why you don't. That is why you don't chop that man. No. I mean, I know Gunther has a bad shot, but Kent is something yeah, different. You don't, you don't chop him, you don't get in the ring with him. Oh, God! Oh, God. my God! What was that? New move by Kabashi, and there's that drop kick. Oh, oh well. yeah, well. Oh, Kabashi hit hard there. Well, that drop kick. I don't well, know what's days worse. Days to confuse oh. Kabashi. I, mean, I don't kick. know what's worse, the man's chops or, or the man's headbutt. Oh, like That's not a good shot. More to the point, those chops to your head. Oh! Coup de grace! Coup de grace. Oh. This might do it. The man has ever kicked out like a dinner moment. plate. One, two. No! Oh, oh, oh here we go. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, yep, Classic here, oh, here, here come the chop. Oh, God. So brutal. They sound like a gunshot. Oh. Jeez, Bella. Oh, his chest has been stained. Oh, and a punch of the jaw. Those, chop, those chops sound like a good oh. shot. Oh, Kaboshi hit hard that time, guys. I think his head like rick. I think his head like ricocheted off the turnbuckle. That he doesn't look conscious. Oh, oh he did it. Yeah. Yeah, his his head might have oh. might have hit the metal smooth buckle underneath. His neck may have snapped, or his back may have buckled. But Bradley, I, I hope I he isn't why. dead. I don't know about you, but you, look at this replay. Oh, oh the impact! Yeah, yeah that, that, we're already I, I, checking him out. Ricochet he, off the. I think he hit the buckle. bolts. I think he that, hit the bolts that hold the buckles on. Yeah, we're already checking him Kendrick out. Kendrick is in bad shape, everybody. Here it comes! Here it comes! Here's he, the moment. Yeah, I uh, can we officially. Yeah, oh God! His yeah, head I can goes officially. Between. I can, can officially confirm he did not pass concussion protocol, so he's going to be out for a while. Wow. I can tell you guys, Kaboshi was knocked unconscious. His eyes rolled in the back of his head when he hit that ball. Well, again, no matter what you Bal think about Balor, that was a hell of a match, and he retained. Oh, yeah. There was no fo no Ric Flair interference, no fortune interference. He yeah. beat another challenger clean here tonight. No fault, no fault. Carl, no I don't fault think it, well, he knocked him anyway. out, though. He... I think yeah, I mean, yeah, but he did it himself. Out. And here we go with week two. It's a week Ladies two. Here gentlemen. we go. Please welcome my guest at this time. Big sexy. Big daddy cool. Diesel. So, Diesel, can we get your thoughts on everything that happened to Fortunate Sons? You seem to be going in for a is victory over Brock Lesnar. But then Kane showed yeah, up. He does. He looks and then stoned. he seemed to... He chokeslammed Lesnar through the ring. But then he attached you. Could we get like your thoughts on what's up. going on between you and Kane? <laughs> and as well as your thoughts on, a tag, on your tag team championship no, match later on in this tour. Your thoughts? Listen up, no testing, yeah. I may be big, but I was not feeling sexy at Fortunate Sons, alright? Don't get the wrong impression. I told you at Fortunate Sons, I was all business with Brock Lesnar. Even though the match was thrown out, I laid every goddamn fist with this... And my big boot, oh. and whatever Jack Nuts I brought out on the so-called Beast Incarnate. Brock Lesnar got what he deserved. I didn't care if I won or lost, as long as I left my f- And that's son of a bitch. I did what I said I was gonna do. I did it for Glenn. I did it for Undertaker. And I was gonna do it for the entire- He WWE. said the thing! He said the th And you know yeah. something? I don't really care about what brought this his current condition is right now. I really don't give a shit if he's been paralyzed from the neck down. 
but I will tell you one thing. Kang did get involved in my business, but I totally understand he was out for vengeance for his own brother. Hell, any one of us would have done the same if one of our siblings had been bad like that. But I'll tell you what, when he chokes on his brother lesson through the ring, that did get under my skin a little bit. So I could tell I was in the wrong place at the wrong time when Kane chokeslammed me before he literally destroyed Brock Lesnar. But if he has any beef with me, then he might want to sell his business with me one way or another. But if it was unintentional and in a fit of rage that he always does, then I can understand that we can part our own separate ways. But when you talk about the tag team tiles that Hulk Hogan vacated, hmm. It got me motivating a little bit. So, I've looked out and I may have found a tag team partner. And I'm not talking about some former bad guy who is over across the pond right now. But I do Nash need a partner. Nash is very understanding. Hey, 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 hey shut the fuck up. I to have found one. <laughs> As to whoever he is, you'll find <laughs> out in the four-way. Because, now that those tag team belts have been vacated, I think it's time the Big Daddy Cool guy's hands on some championship gold. Ooh, someone seems to be the halfway to motivate it. Who's he picked as his partner though? That's the biggest question. All right, All right guys, and now here's Brooke Hogan's first championship defense. Oh, wow. hey, you well, all saw, uh, the most we all saw over Hogan in wrestling. I'm sure. We all well, saw, let me tell you uh, something, uh, brothers. My daughter Brooke Hogan's here to kick some serious ass. She's got the Commonwealth belt. She's gonna make her daddy proud. And there it is right there. We all saw a Dakota Kai get involved in the matchup against uh, Brooke yeah. and Bailey. So, so Dakota Kai well, is, is now getting Dakota getting Kai's a little bitter that, that Brooke Hogan is getting this, oh. this shot here. And I honestly can't say I blame her. Yeah, oh, don't tap, bro. Whatever you do, do not tap my daughter. No, oh, side slam. There you go. You teach the car guy who's boss. Oh no. There's the boy slam. Oh, uh, the big the leg, leg drop. drop. There you go. Stay on the right side do, this time. Well, I've seen. Referee, do your job. We've seen now. that loads of times. Can it get the victory? And it yeah, does. It yes, indeed, it does. Well done, Brookie Hogan. You just made me proud. The second most over Hogan in wrestling after Kiara. Well, there goes Hulk Hogan, guys. He just joined us on commentary for this matchup. He couldn't help but watch his daughter retain the title. Oh boy! Oh, oh, let him talk to you. It's another art of another... war qualifying match. Yes, it's let another art of war qualifying match. But, all, uh... all this guy does is talk, yeah. talk, talk, talk. to you. So, this past weekend at Fortunate Sons in Paris, France, not only did I make my WWE debut, I said that for any person, any person could take me on. And what is thrown my way? Pierre Dubois. Dummy, yeah! <laughs> exactly, His exactly, WWE <laughs> fans. I say dummy, you say yeah. Dummy! 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 Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Seven time so French now, champion you're talking Twitter, about there. I told Ric Flair to give me a real <laughs> challenge. So, Ric Flair, whatever individual you have back there, send them on out. Because at the end of the night, they will be named Dummy Yeah, with everybody screaming it to the top of their lungs. Whose game this is? Yeah! Yeah! Who's he gonna take on? Oh! oh hold on no. a second. We got a new debut here, guys. It's, uh, well, it was Johnny Impact and John oh, Morrison. I know that, but I know that guy very Johnny well. I, I was signing his checks for a little bit. That's John Morrison. He worked, he, for, he, worked now, for me, he worked for me for about half an hour. And Johnny, Johnny does not look happy to be here. He looks a little bit pissed, but uh, but this is his debut in the WWE. He technically worked for me for about 20 minutes, half an hour at the most. He, he may not be happy with what LA Knight was talking to him about. I mean, I, 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 mean, I saw this guy backstage earlier, and he looked like he had. He told me before he 
as his matchup. He has some stuff to get off his chest, so he's getting the microphone. So look out, guys. Oh, all right. Let's, let's hear what he has to say. Brand new John Morrison in the WWE. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce myself. I am not just John Morrison anymore. No, 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 no. From this moment forward, I am Johnny Fortune. And I'm here to make an impact unlike anything you've ever seen before. You see, I've been watching from the sidelines as you fans, you so-called faithful followers, cheer for the mediocrity that saturates this industry. You cheer for the likes of the WWE, the AEW, the NWA, all these pathetic organizations that parade around their supposed hey, stars hey, hey, hey. like they're something special. Oh, so let me tell you something. They're not. They're nothing compared to me. I've traveled the world, honing my craft, perfecting my skills, and what do I get? I get overlooked. I get underappreciated, but not anymore. No, now I'm here in WWA, where I can finally show the world what a true superstar looks like. And as for you fans, you're nothing but sheep. You'll cheer for anyone they put in front of you, regardless of talent, regardless of skill. Well, guess what? I'm not here to cater to your whims. I'm here to take what's mine. And if that means stumping each and every one of your hopes and dreams along the way, then so be it. So to the fans, to the WWE, to the AEW, to the NWA, and to anyone else who dares to stand in my way, I have one message. Get ready to feel the impact. Because Johnny Impact is here to stay, and I'm not taking prisoners. He's forgotten what his name is, guys. Well, here we go, guys. I don't know. He changes it every, every two uh, weeks. Fortune. I think he was called Johnny Alliance, Alliance for about 30 minutes. Was is he either a member of Fortune or is he being paid off by them? Who knows? But well, either way, way I don't like it. I don't like. I yeah, don't like the two attitudes from. He's even. He's an even. Johnny in Fortune. Fortune. Or he's, been, he's either in Fortune or he's being paid one. And um, given who runs this place, Rick. Look at all. Um, it could be either. Oh my God. And uh, these guys right here. That this is a matchup I've been wanting to see. Look at this. LA Knight has been taken to his limit here. This is quite the matchup here on WWE, I have to say. This is. Whoever wins this match will be in the Art of War, so let's see what happens. It's a shame that Quaylon can't be. These are two guys that are are on the cusp. They just need one or two more wins. No, they will hit at Mega Stardom. Oh, look out! Oh, God, this match is already a 5 out of 5 match already. You can love or you can loathe his attitude. Morrison oh, or Fortune is one hell of a credible skill. Well, you know what he is, not Tom. He's not in the rumble. But he's not in. But he's not in the rumble. Yeah, no. But uh, shortly after this match, it was confirmed by Rhett Flair that after the Art of War, LA Knight and Johnny Fortune will be going in a best of seven series to see oh, who, wow. who was who was the better better individual. I absolutely I can't, want, I can't I wait for that. Absolutely okay with well, seeing tonight, LA Knight proves to be the best. Welcome my guests at this time. The WWE Women's and Television Champions, Charlotte Flair and Andrade. So Charlotte, could you and Andrade give me your thoughts on your next challengers, Tamina and Tucker Knight, and how y'all feel coming up into your title defenses coming up? Gregory, why would you ask such a stupid question? Uh, Well, Charlotte, as a journalist, it's my job to... Uh Uh-oh. Easy, mi amor. As for Tamina, she comes from a family legacy, but not as important as mine. My father, Ric Flair's career and legacy, is more legendary than Jimmy Snuka. Tamina... You are the number one contender, and you tried to get involved in a match I had on a Wrestle Pride house show. But now, it seems you and Tucker Knight are both interfering in both mine and Andrade's matches on the house shows. So now, we are throwing out the challenge and opportunity. 
the two of us, the true power couple, versus you two clowns. Mixed tag match for both our titles. Oh boy. You have the chance to be embarrassed on live TV by both of uh, us. First. When the smoke clears, yes, first, the king and queen will be standing tall and you a two will be time, broken guys. and bowing at our feet. The king and queen have spoken. <laughs> Tucker, no él es nada. Toda la WWE no es nada. Soy English, Andrade El Idolo. <laughs> lo lamento, lo lamento. I know none of you know what that means because none of you speak Spanish. Tucker can barely speak English. So I will say it so everyone understands. I am Andrade the Idol. And you are very welcome to start worshipping at my and my queen's feet immediately. Ric Flair, look, I ain't going out here to talk to you face to face right now. He's squinting because of the light. I really need to get something off my mm. chest and directly straight up to the so-called immortal one right now. Hulk Hogan, unfortunate sons, Seamus, Drew McIntyre, and myself, we were embarrassed. We were embarrassed that we didn't get the job done. This was supposed to be our night to prove that we were the most dominant in the WWE. That I was a dominant world champion. And that Sheamus and Drew had the tag team titles to prove that they were dominant in the tag team division. But somehow you pulled the rug from under us. And I'll tell you something. You gave us one hell of a fight, brother. You really did. I didn't even anticipate it, but I did know that we were in for the long haul. But at the end of the day, who did you pin? You pinned Sheamus, and of course in the process, Fortune lost the tag team titles. But you didn't take this belt from me. And what did he used to say back in your heyday, Hogan? To anyone who would have beaten you when you were world champion back in WCW? You would always say... Yeah, you beat me, but you didn't really beat me. How'd you like the fact <laughs> that the roles are on you now, Hogan? You did beat me, along with my partners, but you didn't really beat me for this. I still have possession of the WWA World Heavyweight title. And you know something? I cannot wait to get back in that ring with you and scrap it down and beat the holy ball of shit out of you, brother. Because I am hell-bent on getting some redemption to clear off a blemish off my record here in this company. So when you get through that gauntlet, I hope you're ready. Because you will feel the full force of the Prince Finn Balor like you've never felt it before. And I will admit, Hogan, it's true that you're one of the greatest of all time. But you're nowhere near on the level of Finn Balor. Because I have this crowning jewel. This WWE title is what I fight for. I fight for what I believe in. You better keep yourself locked and loaded. And save your ammunition for the best when it happens. Because it's only going to take one bullet shot. One final coup de grace from Balor. To destroy the legend. Of You're going to fucking Hogan, shoot him. All the Hulkamaniacs. <laughs> And Hulk and That's shoot, brother. Yeah, you don't get to actually shoot him, brother. What the fuck? Checkmate, Hulkster. He's being a bit Prince Devitt there. Well, it's since you have finisher, accepted the shot. rematch, Firm Oh, Bob Hogan's man, accepted too. I will let you know that you should consider yourself lucky that I didn't pin you. Hogan's looking and young. And sons, man. You're just going to have to keep that title more warmer to hold on to. Because this time, I will be taking it from you. And I will pin your shorts to the mat. One, two, three, and the referee will officially hand me over that title that you claim to hold so dearly. But just one more thing, Balor. If I can get through the gauntlet match that Ric Flair has planned, there's only one stipulation that I'm going to add to our rematch. So how about this, Balor? I'm throwing it down right here and now, brother. You and me... 
for the WWE Heavyweight title. A 30-man IMM match. How does that sound Whoa. to you? Can oh. you beat the Hulkster within 30 minutes? That is the question that everybody, including myself, have asked you. Now, can you answer and deliver when that bell rings? A 30-minute IMM match, Hulk Hogan? You and me wrestling for half an hour for this crowning jewel that I hold? Well, guess what, Hogan? Hogan's got ahead of himself, isn't he? He's got to win his uh, gauntlet match first. I'll be yeah. able to prove to the whole if world, can do it. to the WWE, to Ric Flair, to you and myself and everybody else that will be watching at home, that I am indeed the Prince, the world champion of the World Wrestling Alliance. So, to throw it back at you, Hogan, what are you going to do when the Prince, Finn Balor, but it shoots you. Uh, die, probably. Me. <laughs> oh, Lord. This is definitely Prince Devitt Balor we're seeing here. Yeah, yeah, he didn't actually kill I, people I with bullets. I don't want Balor to shoot me, please. Yeah, uh, he all right, so... Should. All right, so this was for the six-person tag team championships. Should Hogan, should Hogan earn his title shot? I hope he wears body armor to the match. Bullet that won't work vest. for him, brother. Well, well, maybe he can, maybe he can get uh, the booty I'm, I'm pretty sure bulletproof vest will work for him. It works for everybody. Well, here comes the new day, guys. Well, I've heard those the, uh, um, pancakes are so the, stale. The, they might as well be like. bullets when the way Kofi's thrown them out. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, or maybe like frisbees. Yeah, like, watch out, fans. It might be steaming hot. Just be like Kang and Burn. But on a serious note, I mean, can you name? Two better teams to decide the six-man champions in these two teams here. Yeah, this is a kind of a dream six-man match here. It's the the six-man team of WWE against the six-man team of AEW or WWE, I should say. Yeah, yeah. On that damn Tron Harlow, you can hear the you can hear the fans just chanting along. They are having a good time tonight. That Tron Harlow is really a pain in the ass. It's like he's it's like Xavier's farting out of his ass and blowing his trombola, brother. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I I don't know about that. Be thankful Sounds Glenn like he's not be thankful Glenn he's not playing a Vuvuzela. I don't know I know what that is. Anyways, here comes Very annoying Kenny South Omega. African instrument. Here comes the Kenny Omega of, and the Young Bucks. Speaking of very annoying instruments. Well, the Young Bucks here are here. The Young Bucks and Omega making their second appearance in the WWE. It's all for the gold. They're either still the called the time, Elite or whatever, but here they are. Despite what some people would say about what happened in AEW, it's not that they still have their name here. Yeah, well, my, our lawyers will be in touch. I was gonna, I was gonna say, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of legal discussions to be had look bottom line is yeah look they had a bad run in aew but they're back here in the wwa they are they have figured things out and they've been on a roll here well in the wwa if you come to this country you can find your way back in the wrestling business you can reform and find your way back to the top that's what's the good thing about this company and there's the new there belts guys Whoever wins it will become the first one ever. So history's in the Rip, making on Hot Wired. Well, here we go, guys. Kenny Omega. This match was fast-paced, but I think Kenny did most of the work. Tiger Driver! Tiger Driver 91! Oh, wow, we're going to get a... Super Kick Tiger Driver! Oh, my God! Oh, jeez, Kofi! I thought that was going to be a fast Kofi Driver for a second there. Bronco oh, Buster and laying in the punches. SOS! Oh, SOS! SOS! One, two, three. Oh. Was it was a trouble in paradise, I'll tell you that much. Oh! Nice oh, good <laughs> smash, <laughs> Phoenix, Phoenix Splash! Phoenix. To the outside! Oh, my god! Oh, what a slingshot did he Kenny Omega showing that he still got it. He has. 
Oh, there it oh. is, the knee trigger. And, and all the... And this was the Kenny Omega's official like, in-ring debut because he was only ringside. Oh, one-wing angel! One-wing angel! Oh, well, that's got to be it. We are going to have the first ever six-man tag team champion. It was Xavier. Biggie didn't know what to do, in. but... Oh! Oh, wait. Oh, get up! Oh, Xavier Woods, small package! No way. Oh, very close. Now Xavier Woods. There it is. Shining Wizard oh, in the back of the head. Small package of the no, night. Oh, look out. Elite knows what that move is like. Oh, and which one is that? Is that Mick Jackson? Um, or that's that Matt Jackson. Matt Jackson. Oh, oh, moon moon skull. Skull. oh. Matt Classic. Jackson with a Moonstall. Oh. But he won't get the job done because Big E was right there to break it up. Wrong place at the wrong time. Small package one up again. Oh, package roll on. second one. Two. Oh, oh my god! god. New Day New won! Day oh my god! New Day actually beat the Elite in their second ever match! Holy cow! And not only that, but what they won the six man tag belts! I, I mean, what a. I hate to call that an upset, but. Yeah! I think a lot of people had a lot of money riding on the, the former Elite! I, I am Man. shocked! Elite had the 90% of that match they were dominating! Only then to uh, for Xavier Woods to roll up Matt Jackson and get the win. He must have super kicked him with his own move and then fold him over with his own maneuver to do it. Maybe that's what happened. Well, it's party well, time like the new it. day. Uh, well, you like it or you don't, the new day are the first six man tag champions. And speaking of tag guys, champions, mate, here we go. on the line. This is now the fatal four-way for the now vacant WWE Tag Team Championships. We move from oh one God, Tag I'm... Team Championship to another. Here comes Adam Bomb, representing half of Chronic. They like reunited the in that gauntlet match. Like yep, yeah, Adam Bomb and Crush reunited. Yeah, is anybody else stepping into the time machine? I don't think I've been born yet. Well, I was You're only two years old when, when Adam Bomb was around. Well, you can definitely tell there's a bit of a mixed reaction from this crowd here in this special London, in, uh, the Mayhem in London tour for Hot Wire. That's what this tour's been dubbed, guys. Just to let you guys know. Confused, Glenn. I think they they is may it, have heard about really, Adam Bomb, but they've never seen him. Is it really a good idea to have? A, to, is it really a good idea to have a man based on nuclear fallout? In this well, current climate, just ask the other guy in the east about it, he'll tell you. And here comes Crush, the former big Hawaiian. I'll ask Ilya wow, Dragunov like... when I get home. It seems like this crowd here seems to be not on uh, his side. He had a good revision last time when we saw him. But here tonight, Chronic are here to make a statement. I'll just fill you in on the details, because if you remember, when Crush and Adam Bomb were together for the first time, they actually took Sheamus and Drew to the limit and nearly beat them. And, you know, they said they had some unfinished business with them to attend. And, well, good luck with that because, you know, from what I've been told, these two men have been at each other's throats during house shows and other parts in WWE. So I guess Crush and Adam Bomb have a beef with the counter connection. And well, they want those tag team titles. Four, That's so four hungry. big, powerful horses. They don't like each other. Well, Drew and Sheamus oh, were very you. dominant as tag champions for the couple of months they held them. They they absolutely dominated the division. They dominated over other tag divisions at uh, Forbidden Door in that match, but they ran up against the wall that was Hulk Hogan. And of course, Crush also Holy remembered the career BSK. opportunity. Diesel, it is what now the time it for us to right. take our claim into the WWE <laughs> the okay. Tag Team Division. Quick, Are to you the Hurricane, guys! The Hurricane! What, what the, the hell? hell? What the hell, hell is, the hell? What the hell is going on? Diesel. So that was the part that Diesel found. Um, I know he called game. Diesel. Because you know how That's, to drive a Diesel? I mean, that. Uh, but by the smoke coming out of that, he's put petrol in a Diesel engine. <laughs> it's, it's horror Diesel power tonight. Wow. But, but, listen to that, but listen to that theme, though. Oh, my God. What's I know. What is, what is that? What is that vehicle made of? Why do I feel like we're I'm, in Mad Max all of a sudden? Folks, I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost, everybody. 
I feel like they harvested my old arena for that car. Huh. Well, the WWA, I'm don't sure that was a my steel steps on the bonnet. Probably. I think so. I <laughs> Who's next? Who else is going to be joining in? Well, oh, there you go, The former the dominant the tag connection. champions. Oh, yeah, here we well, go. Well, the... Drew and Sheamus, they the want these cards back. Arguably, arguably, they should be. Arguably, they should um, have a shot automatically anyway because um, they're the contractual rematch, or they never got their rematch against Hogan. No, and judging by that yeah, crowd, it seems like we've got some mixed, mixed uh, reactions here. Some are cheering, some I, are booing. I think, there's, I think there's members of this crowd that appreciate the effort of Sheamus and McIntyre. They were one of the more dominant tag champs of season one, and that was when even when they won it so late in the season. The yeah, when they beat the ROC for it. The two of the most popular wrestlers from Europe, like, and, and obviously we are in Europe, so... Well, I believe that these men should still be tag champions, but they ran against the brick wall that was Hulk Hogan and his ego, unfortunately. Sadly. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say Hogan's ego, Carl. They, they ran against not. They he didn't, didn't even he didn't even won the tag belts. He just gave them up. Well, he he stole he stole the belts now. that these men put on the map. These men absolutely made themselves a great tag champions. Hogan took them and then just threw them down. He didn't even want them. Yeah. So he did not throw them down. He laid them down with grass. justice for Celtic Connection. Screw you, Hogan. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what. It doesn't matter if he threw them down or put them down or gently laid them on a velvet tray. Either way, he, he took them from to these be... men, the rifle he champions, did, yeah. who yeah, were great champions, the and they ended up in a guy who didn't even want them. Terrible exactly. decision. Well, these guys. Wait, what? Well, these guys want it. It's oh, Hogan. Stick. Oh, look at Sting. He's not Ooh. wearing the black and white. It's He's Super Sting. No, we haven't seen that version of Sting since since '95. Now this is the Blade Runner. The American Blade Runners are looking very patriotic. Yeah, Stinger's Sting had a bit of a haircut since we last saw him. And a dog, yep. That is the same Sting who beat Ric Flair at the Great American Bash in 1992. And it's official, the Blade Runners, they are back and here wow. we go. There were rumours that, that these guys. guys would continue teaming up after uh, after the last pay-per-view, and it looks like that's going to be the case. Whoever wins it is going to earn it. Well, they're the ones who wanted the tag titles in that six-man match. Well, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be Sting Scorpion here Deathlock in a few on, seconds. Yeah, Scorpion Deathlock on the Hurricane. Whoever wins this, they will be the a seventh team, I think, in total to hold the tag belt. Judging by calculations here, I might have it wrong. Seven, but, seven champions in a year. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and the Ultimate Warrior's crutch, you can crush with that bear hug, but yeah, crushed quite yeah. salivate. He's got to get out of that. And Drew, oh, oh okay. bad landing, and a oh, shot of Breaker. I take it, this I is one point like for a gold fist. Yeah. Drew and Jameis isolating Diesel right now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a choke game. slam to Drew McIntyre. He's got the leg hook. The cover. Wait a minute. But no Sean way! Is too busy and no way! Wait, wait a second! Wait! No! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> the huh? Sheamus didn't even know the match was over. He was too busy being Diesel, and they've got new tag champs. There's, there's no way. There's no way that Ric Flair is allowed this, right? Current Diesel are the tag team champions. Current Diesel got the job done. Uh oh, oh Kane Lord. is there. Oh, there. There it is. Oh, for the Raptors. Well, it's confirmed, guys. It's going to be Kane and Abyss versus the Hurricane Ds of the Hour of War for the tag titles. That will be well, some combustible. Holy good, good luck, Diesel. Career revamp. Diesel and the Hurricane, WWE Tag Team Champions. Now, many people were asked, why would Big Daddy Cool Diesel select the Hurricane, of all people, as his tag team partner? Well, it's pretty obvious. We both use a choke slam. We have the biggest proper physique in the WWE. And people wonder why he would choose me as a partner? What's up with that? See, the fact is, the Hurricane has been looking for, for a new sidekick for a long time now. It, oh, Diesel, sidekick. Well, that was just a little hurricane, you know? But Diesel, I thank you so much for selecting me as your partner. But you know what, Diesel? You do have 
the preference to be a superhero in training. Hurricane. Really? <laughs> you made a believer of me tonight. I wasn't sure if this was going to work, but damn it sure hell did. It feels pretty damn good to wear championship gold once more. We've done it for the fans of the WWE. We did it for all the big daddy cool fans out there. And for all your little hurricanes out there as well. And King of Abyss, we saw you up on the ramp earlier just as soon as we won. Come the art of war, you better be prepared. Because the almighty power of Big Daddy Cool and the little fighting green machine, the Hurricane, right on a Category 5 on the Fiji scale, we're going to cluck your asses down and we will bring you the war that you want. So buckle up and get ready. Because this new team is going to lay a statement to the WWE Universe. Is oh. that dumb I know, <laughs> Kane? Abyss, Kane, I knew you for a long time. Me and you were once tag team champions together. But now, True. we'll be standing across from each other as opponents at the Art of War. Mm -hmm. And now, Diesel, let's go celebrate. Quick, to the Hurricane! Cave! Hurry, Diesel, how are tonight, boys? Uh, <laughs> Diesel, ain't you gonna go celebrate? I don't think going to this so-called Hurricane Cave will be big enough to fit me in, yo. But you know something, Hurricane Helms? Come here. She's saying oh. I've got a better place where we could go and celebrate. Come with me. Oh no. You're gonna love it. I think I know where he's taking him. <laughs> Here we go, week three. So again, looks good in this match. At least he can out wrestle the big guy. Another Art of War qualifier. Timothy Thatcher against Rikishi. Oh, oh. What a, what a clash of styles here, my, yeah. my goodness. We've, the got best we've, we've got a very, very happy Samoan man and a man who, and, and a man who could be given a thousand pounds and wouldn't be very happy about it. Well, he's one of the best technical wrestlers, Tom, and look at this, he is cutting down Rikishi. If you get the big man down, look at this, this is how you could win this match. Take out the arms, I mean, the legs I'm, and everything. I'm still at a loss at our new tag team champions. I mean, did that really happen last week? It yes, did it happen. Did, JJ. You saw it live in the flesh, JJ. And Timmy Thatcher looks like he's going to make Rikishi tap yeah. here with this Rikishi, new leg while he's going on. He almost made Brock Lesnar tap out. Yes, he did. He out wrestled Timmy the beast, but he hasn't out wrestled Rikishi yet. But. Oh! Timothy Thatcher, oh. Matt. Timothy Thatcher, a man with a face like a funeral. And look at these stiff uppercuts, oh my goodness, he's making Cesaro look like they're nothing. Look at this, and oh, what an uppercut, and now he whips into the other side. Don't tell him I said that. Oh, and Rikishi stumbling and a drop kick. Look at that. But Rikishi says it's time to go home, brother. Nope. Yep. Rikishi's going to flatten him. Imagine being Timothy Watch Thatcher, out, looking Watch up and out. seeing that coming down on you. He's the gonna largest that ass block brother. ride in the business! Game to the late point, no come to that. At least he didn't drop his backside on his face. Well, Kishi shows some mercy there. Yeah, didn't drop, didn't drop it on his face, but probably collapsed his chest. But the question well, is, is Rikishi going to dance? Is he going to get down? Well, well that cameraman it. is. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Timothy Thatcher. Oh, there Fuck you are, Carl. Oh, I, I thought we lost you on commentary there, Carl. Where were you? I was just going to get some uh, things from the concession stand. Oh, is he going to get down? Is it time for Rikishi to get down? Down to party. We saw the New Day dancing around, so can Rikishi one up them? He hasn't got the shades, but he'll bust a move. Oh, he's getting down, folks. Oh, here we go. Rikishi's there we getting go. down. <laughs> the the dance party Batman. here in the WWE. The largest ass in the business is getting down <laughs> and getting funky. And I am all ready for that. Uh-oh. Uh Me too, Tom. But look at this. Oh, wait a second. Now that's not good. Oh, we don't whoa. Backstage fight for Drew McIntyre and Sheamus, folks. The WWE medical staff, of course, the uh, 
the uh, well-known insiders of the business. You've got to wonder, you've got to wonder with people's contracts coming up uh, uh, in the coming months, what could we see? Could we see movement? And here comes Tucker Knight and oh. Tamina, the two challengers for Charlotte Flair <laughs> and, quack, quack. And, and Ali Dryday's TV belt and for the women's belt. So both up for grabs. So this is another historic match in the making. Challengers, the, challengers for the titles, but I don't and think Charlotte belt. and Andrade they are taking them very seriously. Well, they should, because Tucky Ducky Quack Quack is hungry. He wants that title, and so is to Tamina. She got into this match because of her awesome performance in that Commonwealth Battle Royal. It's JJ Calder, the MVP of that match, and this is what she got for it. Yeah! Oh, the strength Ooh. of Andrade. Wow, what a move by Andrade. And you, you also saw, guys, the new improved TV title belt that was made, which Andrade revealed before we went on the air. Oh, figure four, leg lock. Little homage to his uh, father-in-law. Spear for Charlotte. Running power bomb. Oh. Change of Braun Breaker with that running power bomb. I think Samoa Joe had that move at one point. I think I could be wrong. A natural selection. Oh, natural there selection. Brito is the only one who ever kicked out this maneuver. Will this do the trick? One, two. Yes, it three. is. And uh, we apologize for Andrade and Tucker just standing there and not looking like they. Well, know you know, they, they can't hit the women. It'll be a disqualification. That's the rules. Yeah, there, there's 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 laws in there's laws that, uh, in, in what the wrestling like in business. Night, the both, men can't uh, strike Andrade women. and Charlotte, they've retained their championships. Well, the happy married well, couple. Either way, the, the, the championships the have been defended. Oh, we're oh, going to arena somewhere in England somewhere. This is it. This is what Hogan was supposed to do. If he can get through this, he'll get his rematch. Two superstars will start in the ring. When one superstar is eliminated, a new superstar enters. Eliminations can occur by pinball. Remember, guys, if Hulk Hogan wins this gauntlet, he'll face Ben Balor next in week four for the World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, yeah. Trouble place, is, that, 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 that is a trouble very, is. very, very big yeah. is. Yeah, trouble is he's got well, to beat three. Hogan's already decided on his. Hogan's already been deciding on his stipulation. He's been making it an Ironman match, but he's looking through this goal. This is going to be more difficult, even for Hogan. And look at that, Hogan's yeah. gone back to the red and yellow '80s style. Look at that. Hogan looks like he's been working out prior to this match. He needs to be in good condition. Now, you guys will be questioning, guys, we are in a smaller arena because, again, part of the Mayhem in Ma uh, London tour, the build-up to the Art of War, was somewhere in London in one of the studios, the same place that they filmed in the did I believe stuff. this is, uh, I believe this, yeah. yeah. I believe this is Elstree Studios. Small, but this crowd is hot. Yeah, I believe this is Elstree Studios, where they yeah. filmed James yeah. Bond and Star Wars, also held Big Brother for many years. This is also the Dang. same. Pla this is also the same place that we hosted the uh, the two cage match for Forbidden Door last year. And yeah, we did. Yeah, I remember. Go I, 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 rem I remember that terrible walk you took me on, Carl, looking for looking for locations. Yeah, indeed you did. And to confirm you guys, we've got a stat of about one thousand five hundred thirty-eight oh, fans in this for arena. Miles. Come on, dude. Seriously. Here we go. Jordan Devlin's the first one to go after Hogan. Typical of Fortune send their weakest oh. member into battle. Oh uh, yeah, good luck, good luck, uh, Devlin. All these oh, fans came all the way out here too. Oh. All these That'll cruiser weights and cruiser weight, brother. Yeah, these fans came all the way out to Borenwood here to see the Hulkster get his number one contendership. And JD had done, uh, Jordan Devlin's eliminate. That's one win for Hogan. He's got two more. Oh, and here comes oh, Aaron Paul. The European champion is up next. And look at Hogan, says, come and bring it, brother. Hogan, don't get too confident. You know what will happen if you do. Well, Hogan is ready. But this is the most ready that Hogan has been in years. Yeah, he's, look, oh, at, that, look at those uh, muscles. He's been back on the gas. Oh, oh Jesus my. Christ. He's, he's been training. He's hey, been hey, training. Hey, hey, yeah, guys, prayers, all that. Hey, Sam Vimans, he's the press. Go. 
know why he has the nickname Pillar Cross in this matchup. I hope he got the leg drop. Oh, but he oh, missed it. On the bad leg. Pillar Cross avoided it. And now he's can big Pillar Cross pull up Hogan. what would what would ultimately be an upset? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh wow. The wow. Of Hogan's head. I think he's knocked him out. Hogan Hogan says out. No. Oh. 2.99. Hogan has been uh, saying those vitamins and eating those prayers, but it's not doing him well here. The training, the prayers and the vitamins. Three demandments. And Hogan with a spinning punch. Oh, and Crossbit spinning out like a tornado. Hogan looking confident. Carrying well Cross, what a performance here. Well, he's been a dominant European champion so far, and I think Cohen Cross has been busted open. Well, I think, I think that's oh, going to be it for Cross. Well, that did the doesn't, trick. Doesn't the European champion look strong, folks? And he's done. Uh, he, wow. had a, he had a great showing against the immortal one, but Hulk Hogan proving why we call him that. Who's the last one? Uh -oh. oh, no. My goodness. Oh, God. I mean, I know we saw Kane earlier tonight, but quite frankly, this man is the big red machine, in my opinion. Hogan right now is going, oh, brother, brother, brother. No, brother. Yeah, we're Hogan. about to see how immortal Hogan can be. This is the monster among humanity. And to give you a side note, guys, Kane was banned from entering this arena, apparently, because, of course, we're streaming in the mix. Uh, Kane, know, Kane's, not allowed. Kane's not allowed at Borum Wood. There's too much trees. We'll set That's what fire. I mean, yeah, he'll, he might set the I whole mean, set on fire if he was. I mean, anyways. I mean, having defeated Kane, I think Braun Strowman's entitled to the name of the Big Red Machine as far as I see it. He's wearing the toys to prove it. But the Big Red course, Machine you know, is taking it to the to the Big yeah. Red and Yellow Machine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll buy into that one, JJ. Oh, God. Oh, Hogan he was so dead. Hogan he barely got the shoulder up there. Hogan, what's this? After all these two I mean, matches, oh my God! God. Oh my God. I mean, it's, it's a big it's super Strowman. Mix. It's Strowman. Oh, Strowman, Strowman at the pause. Oh, if Jesus. Strowman beats Hogan, does he get the title shot? No, he doesn't. It prevents. He Ballard certainly has earned part. it, I think. I mean, yeah, beat you beat Hogan. Wait a minute. Surely, yeah. And Strowman, oh, oh. he the step. He's been knocked out. And the referee, he's the Yeah, up his head has bounced off the guardrail and bounced off the step. And that was so it. a way to do it. Come on, Hogan. Hit that that was so please. smart. The words Strowman out and knocks him out with the steps. Smart, smart Hogan. That was his last ditch attempt, and it worked. And Hogan's got Hogan, his rematch. I think Hogan got a bit desperate there and had to resort to a slightly underhanded tactic. Well, 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 well he did it. He beat all three members of Fortune. And he is now going to face Finn Balor at Wrestle Pride next week. That's right. Just to let you know, guys, we will be live at the Royal Albert Hall at Wrestle Pride for this event, and here we go. This is the, the last, last of the Art of War qualifiers that will be shown on television. Barry Corbin yeah, and the Hurricane. It's the Hurricane. The Hurricane. This is Brand one of the tag team champions. He got his title belt, yes, 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 the Diesel's holding on to his title belt form. Uh, of course, think, Corbin um, didn't forget what Hurricane did to him in that Rumble match. That's why it came about. I think Hurricane wishes he in, brought indeed, Diesel Hurricane. with him because uh, Barry's giving him a kick in. Indeed, uh, Hurricane eliminated... Oh, uh, wow! Uh, Hurricane flying through the air! Oh! Of the Vertebraker! The oh, no way. Oh! oh. No one's, ever kicked out of it. no one's ever kicked out of it before One, in WWE. Two. But Corbin oh. did it! Ooh, and a power bomb. Well, that did the trick. Ooh, but no, Ooh. Hurricane kicked out. But here comes the end of days. Uh, end of oh, days, and that is it. That is it. That is Goodbye, it, Hurricane. Yeah. That Corbin World, the Hurricane wins. Out of the superhero, Dang. and it's got the job done. No one gets up from the end of days. And this sellout crowd here in London booing Corbin out of the building. Oh, here we go. We well, it's main event time, main event time, time main folks. Event. Here he comes. Oh, wait a minute. It's, is this a. Is hey, this his. Yeah, he's coming out here. Here we go. 
Hogan, it's red and yellow in the arena, but... Oh, oh my god, look at Hogan! Oh, wait oh a, my whoa, god! Wait a second here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blue Hogan? Hogan is no, the red No, this can't be! This can't be! Blue Hogan's dead! <laughs> Blue <laughs> Hogan White died! Hogan, he died, died years ago! Like, he's coming out I mean, to his... He's Hulk Hogan won... I don't know about you, but... I mean, Hulk Hogan won the title match, not Blue Hogan, I mean... Well, it was. This is a different was, thing altogether, guys. It was very many years ago that Hogan wore these colors, and it was, it was the night that Hulkamania was born that Hogan came out to this music here. I mean, Blue Hogan, guys. This, this, this is this is altogether different. Balor is fucking screwed. Balor yeah. was expecting the original Hogan. Yeah, he, he did not expect this one to come out. Hogan said he had a surprise for everybody before we came yeah. here tonight, and this was yeah. it. Even Rick the Flair is popping out. Hulkamania was born 40 years ago in this attire and with this music, and can it be reborn tonight against Finn Balor? I think it will, JJ. The Scarlet Crown in London in a stacked out World Up at Hall believe we're going to have a new champion. I mean, no, but nobody in wrestling has ever seen a force quite like Blue Hogan. He's bigger. He's stronger, and he is bluer than the normal he, Hulk Hogan. He, he looks in great shape, I gotta say. Man, man, I was watching a Ric Flair when he saw this. He was just going, he was throwing everything backstage. You don't wear blue Hogan, I wear blue! <laughs> like, it's a super Hogan tonight. I mean, I, guys, as, as, as we know from other wrestlers across the, the universe of wrestling, when you make something blue, it is stronger, it is more powerful than any red versions that may exist. Um, yes, so but, but, Blue but Hogan Tom, is going but, to destroy Balor oh here tonight. My oh god. my god, Balor's oh, blue as blue, well. What about a blue Balor? Oh my god, Balor. Balor's blue as well. Oh guys, let me fill you on this one. Do you want to know why Balor's looking a little bit blue and black tonight? Because, because everything's because stronger when it's blue, Glenn. We know this, I've just confirmed that. No, no, that, not that at all. Ben Ballas said he's feeling more icy cold tonight. He's going to bring a savage side of him out. And of course, mm -hmm. he's going to beat Hulk time. Hogan black and blue, as they say. He's absolutely going to batter Hogan to the point well, where that, he will That's not a lot function. easier said than done, Mr. Balor. But, that's, but this is not the same Balor who we saw, because look at the new look on him. Blue and black. This is this is almost this like is, an age, oh, uh, a new he, Japan pro wrestling Balor. This is a different guy. Uh, am oh, I the only like, one who thinks... Am I the only one who thinks that Finn Balor is feeling the glow right now? Yes, he is. He's feeling the ice cool glow, Bradley. Mm. And I'm just well, checking. He can the feel the glow right now. all he, he wants. He can... He's got his so engines down why... to a science, but at the end of the day, he's got to beat the Hulk Hogan in this Iron Man match here tonight. That's if he can so do it, that's JJ. Why I found... So that's why I found that empty bottle of blue carousel for then. And I'm telling oh, you guys, Hogan look. and Finn Balor wow. are drinking it. Don't, guys, guys, I'm just, I'm JJ, just you, you, J, JJ, JJ, you got are it you wrong. Okay? It's not Hulk Hogan. This is Blue Hogan. This is a different character altogether. <laughs> oh, you're right. This is, the, this is the AWA Hogan we're looking at. No, it's not Blue Balor. Hogan. It's a completely different got, character altogether. Guys, we got to take a quick commercial break. We got uh, we're about to get blue we'll balls right when we go to this commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> wow. One ring. 30 men will enter, but only one can survive, and thus will be declared the master of the art of war. Receive a main event shot at your pen uprising too. WWE, the art of war, coming very soon. Be there if you dare. Oh, we're back live, ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. and here oh, we go. And yes, uh, I apologize about this messed up camera angle. We had to borrow as someone who was uh, incapable from NWA, so yeah, you're stuck <laughs> with this shitty camera angle for the rest of it. For the rest of it. What you guys can't see as well, we actually do have the clock, but it's out of camera right now, and uh, the clock is ticking down for no, half I, an I, hour. I, well, no, I mean Rick Flair's sitting right here. He's got the clock in his hands. I don't know what time it is. It is past half, but it is actually gone. Well, we are, we are ten. I think we're ten minutes in, but again, 
We're not apparently not allowed a clock on the screen. Apparently, I, I, I only. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say I estim I estimate we're about ten minutes into this match, but, but I don't know. All I know is the score. All I know is that it's even at this point. Yeah. Apparently, Ric Flair wants to be the only one to keep a track of time. I call some screw shenanigans on that, quite frankly. Indeed, and so far, guys, since the first few minutes since the bell rang, Hogan I mean, I've and heard of and maneuvers with each other. So I've they heard know of how Titan important this time, is. but this is ridiculous. I know, and look at Hogan. Look at this. Hogan's pulling out some moves we have not even seen him do in years. And look at this. Oh, he, ha oh, he had Balor up in that press. Balor able to. You get a, a wow. sunset flip in. I'm telling you guys, Balor and Hogan know the importance of this match and what a main event Well, I mean, it's here. for the world title. It can't get much more important than it's going to be. I mean, it doesn't, no, it doesn't get any more important. This is live at WrestleBroid, live in London in the Royal Albert Hall. It's stacked. I mean, like, why do you think Balor seller. broke out the new scheme? Why do you think Hogan broke out the old scheme? And look oh at that. my god, oh, what a choke for Balor. How did you have tell you everything is more is stronger and more powerful when it's blue well, it's an ice cold Balor tonight yeah well Balor is ice cold tonight he's not chilling around he's literally going to well I, I'll say it anyway he's going to ice dagger Hulkamania if he can get the job done like I'm Mr. telling Free you. it's like Mr. Freeze is here well it is cold it's outside tonight ice. Yeah, he, he said he was gonna Two Hulkamania up and spit it out like it was a Bluetooth. Well, there's no uh, Iceman yeah. come with here tonight, Bradley. <laughs> uh, but, Blue, but Blue Hogan is here, and I think um, I think we I think we're fine. I think Balor is learning that even though he's blue, he doesn't have the power. He doesn't no, he's have black the power and blue. to take on Blue Hogan. Because Blue yeah, Hogan blue is and... so much yeah. powerful than anything else. I mean, you say you say that, but Balor's in control so far. Oh, well, he, he's been watching all of Hogan's tapes. If you study them tapes, you can be well prepared. But guys, just let's just let's be honest. This is I a mean, different. I mean, Hulk yeah, Hogan if you've watched any before. Hogan for the last forty years, you know what to expect. Yeah, he's wearing different gold trunks. But this is a different Hogan. This is the AEW um, what? Hogan from all those years ago. Hey, Hogan, Hogan has never been in AEW. No, not AW, it was the AWA Hogan, that's the one. And he's been nailing them punches, and those hurt, brother. Yeah, that's where... So I got all confused. Hulk Mania was born. You mean, you be, mean the... Uh, born again in the WWA here tonight. You mean the... The uh, championship where he didn't win a, a title? Yeah. That's the one, yeah. When Hogan first Whatever you do, don't throw Balor over the ropes. Yeah, yeah exactly. He didn't win the belt in, in the AWA in those colors. He won the belt as the red and yellow. Maybe he's made a mistake. Well, there's a sling blade and a drop kick, and Balor's staying right on top of Hogan. Maybe if he'd been in the, uh, in the red and yellow powers, if he had the power of his WWF Hogan, he might be doing a bit better in this match. Well, and you can tell when Finn Balor came out, he was shocked seeing Hogan in this form. He didn't expect that this happened. Well, I couldn't I tell because Balor was backstage, but you know. I don't think yeah, Ric Flair expected it. I mean, he's going to have to pay for that music. I think there might be Ric Flair's tights. Oh, no, my big. I can't see. I can't see Flair's name on. Oops. Oh, here we go. Body, big body slam. Leg drop. The the oh, this could oh, be the first Hogan. decision. Oh, Hogan's going to win the title here. One. Why is it I'm a match? Oh, two. Two. He's going to get. Oh, oh my God. Well, so far, I'm checking on the clock, guys. We've got the ten minute mark. Of that leg drop, not very Hogan many. Hogan harnessing the power of the Triceratops here tonight. Yeah, well, I mean, Hogan made a mistake by by doing that knee drop. I think you don't want to be. You, Balor is targeting those knees, and Hogan, well documented knee problems with that knee. But well, let's just think about this. Finn Balor well. has every advantage in this match. I mean, Ric Flair is controlling the time, and uh, yeah. and he doesn't have to be. Uh, he has to be pinned, so to speak, right? He's the one that has that's to be right. beat. If this thing goes yeah. to a draw, Finn Balor is still the champion. Well, I mean, that's pretty hard about that, but well. nevertheless. But you, heard, but you heard how desperate Balor wants. He wants something to prove to everybody yeah, you, tonight. You, do you, you think Rick Flair's going to go into them. overtime? I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Oh! oh. A spinning pilot to Hogan. A sling blade. He's, Hogan's disorientated. He doesn't know where to look. Yeah, he didn't Balor's go down from the pillow, but he did go down from that. The trouble is, Balor's going to prove nothing 
with Rick Flair, with Rick Flair sat oh, two feet. The legs to, sat, oh, with Rick Flair sat I'm two feet to my right, right hold, I mean, holding Rick, the alarm clock, controlling the time. I mean, I will say, I see him looking at his phone. He's looking at, he's looking at the time. He's in the he back. Needs to be accurate so far, but I just, I do not trust that man. No, I don't. Well, so, so I'm telling me he's not even out here. We're not even. He's not even out here. We can't even see him with the clock to, to watch, make sure he's doing it legitimately. Yeah, he's in the back. Yeah, exactly. Where we can't see him. We can't see him watching the clock. How do we know he's even got a clock? Yeah, we can't monitor the clock. And without being able to monitor the clock, ten minutes could have gone by, or we could have been here for three days. I'm I'm gonna guess that we're at the fifteen or sixteen minute mark here. Well, I'm looking on mine. I think we're passing 12 minutes at this point because so far Hogan and Balor are putting on a hell of a performance so far. I mean, I, I've heard of a dark match, but we're this is a in the dark match. We're in the my dark point, here. We don't know what's my, going on. My point Listen is to the that my point Balor, exactly they are there, booming him. You just oh, made my point Balor, look exactly out. There. Nobody knows oh. how long we've been in this match, and it's a bloody Iron Man match. Well, welcome to Ric Flair's WWE, where it's only about what he wants. This is a farce. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say Ric Flair couldn't arrange a piss up in a brewery, but I think he's pretty good at alcohol based things. No. Yeah. I can't really say oh, that. Look at them I, think, by I, think, I think he'd struggle oh. to get off in a brothel though. Christ almighty, the man doesn't know what he's doing. I mean, I just, I, I know we have a hell of a piece of party lined up later tonight. So that's, that's what I'm oh, looking no, forward to. Oh, big splash. Oh. But uh, yeah, uh, we thought that this show was a vanity project under Glenn. It certainly is now with Ric Flair. Oh my God! Yeah, this is an absolute Pope. vanity project. Oh, Pope oh. Rigger. Going to Chris Jericho there by Balor, and I'm telling you, it's not going to be easy to beat a guy like Hogan, and Balor knows it. Well, both men He's are going to have everything. I don't think Hogan has gone 30 minutes. Coup de AWA oh, coup de gras! Oh, coup de gras! That's, that's going to be a first decision. Oh, one, one, two. two. Oh, he gets him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hogan kicked out. I got kicked out. I'm just checking out. He's going for it again. Now, and that's a good coup de gras. Oh, that's going to be it. Wait a minute. Flair's letting you see the quarterback. Oh! Where's that end? Where's that end? Where's that end? Where's that end? Two kickouts from two coup de grace! Oh, no, the third one do it! Three in a row! Three coup de grace in a row! But it was the Sean! Oh my god! Oh my god! The, the Hulkamaniacs are going crazy! We have officially passed. We have officially passed 15 minutes, guys. How do you know? Officially? We don't officially I'm banging your whip player. I can see the clock. I don't believe he's even he got a clock. Can, I, Bradley, if you're hanging around with Rick Flair that close, I can't trust you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't trust this. Oh, no. Well, no nevertheless, no, this no, is no, the movie he beat Kenta Kaboshi with. Yeah. Oh. oh! Hogan's head. Yeah, going for oh, wait, Hogan's back up. Can't believe it. Hogan kicked out three. In, like that wasn't just three uh, spread apart. That was three, one after the other. Cody Gras and Hogan kicks out of all of them. Vintage Hogan, Hulk Hogan. Hogan, classic Hulk Hogan. Hogan. Will, Hogan will not sell. Will not sell for smaller men. It is ridiculous. But did you see the look on Balor's face when Hogan kicked out that third Cody Gras? He he was shocked. No one has ever done it before. Oh, so slim blade. Another slim slim. This is the biggest fight at all in a drop well, kick. Watch Hogan kick out after this, I'll bet. Oh, Bally, you saw he went Bally. to go for the coup de grace again. Yeah, he, and just... I think he, he reluctant. Bally he reluctant knows that he to needs it. to do something else here. 1916! I might do it. I might do it. The first ball's coming up. I think this has done it. One, Come on, Bob. Kick out. Two, Come on. Two, three. Oh, three. Oh. Balor got the right, first now, 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 ba Balor's winning 1-0, so board. Balor's winning 1-0, so we've got about 20 seconds left on the clock now, I imagine. Yeah. No. Well, we I should, we should, so. we should have about 10 or 15 minutes left, according okay. to Bradley. Yeah, but we know, oh, we, we, know we, we know, we know the passage oh, of the hell is there? We know the Balor passage of time is as corrupt as there. Richard bloody Nixon, so, you know. That was a bad mistake on, on Balor's guy. He just hurt himself and now Hogan taking advantage. But wait, Balor suckered him in. He tricked him. He suckered Hogan well, out. I mean, yeah, you saw it on, the, on what happened there. Balor didn't get the job done with the coup de grace. He went to go for it again, decided against it, and then went for the 1960 instead, and that did get the job done. He is now one up on the holster.
And now they're drawing on the outside. They yeah, don't be I don't careful. Think anybody they predicted. Out. I don't think anybody predicted that to be how this match uh, would start out. No. I mean, Balor was shocked when he couldn't put away home with that coup de grace three times. So now oh, he knows tough. the threat to his world title is serious. And he's not joking around. He is going in full Prince mode at this point. So I expect any minute now the clock will run out, surprisingly, I would imagine. Or if Hogan, oh. gets, or if Hogan gets a cover on Balor. Uh oh, second cover, here we go. One, One two, two. Oh. Three. oh no, 2 nil. Oh, Balor's 2 nil up. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, remember, that's happened. Yeah, and to be fair, it was a DDT, which was to the same area that uh, the 1960 did. But Hogan's up! Wait, look Hogan's out. got him! And he just rocket launched the champion oh. off the top turnbuckles. He caught him in the act that time, and now Hogan's going to make him pay for it. Leg drop! Here we go. And here we go Leg off drop. the road. Leg there drop. it is. This might Five, do it. I'm going to Two, one, one and the clock. Two. No! No! Oh, oh, still ro How did rolling he out? Hogan can't believe it. How many men can say they kicked out of the leg drop? Not once, but twice. Wait, he did and on the wrong side, though, times. Glenn. That was, he did it on the leg that's been bothering him. Blair no, that was the right leg. He couldn't Blair do can't it. even do clock corruption right. And now Balor again saying Hogan off. There's that drop kick into the corner. The drop kick oh, oh. Kent's career. That's the bad back from Hogan. Will this do it? No! Oh, 3 0! 3 0! Hogan oh my is goodness! An absolute crap kicked out of him. He's being this crowd in London are furious. He's being pasted. He is being just dug out here, washed out, I should say. He's being humiliated. Yeah, Hogan, as well Hogan's going to have to mount one of those miraculous comebacks here pretty soon. Oh no, well, Kuda Gross number four. Coming off. Again. No! And this time oh. he hits it. Will that well, do it and, and is Coup de Gras number four going to put One, Balor up two, or nothing? Three, yes, it is. It is. Oh, oh, zero. No. Jesus. Hogan's got no chance now. How can you come back well, Hogan is being nil. Hogan is being shut out here in this match. I did not anticipate this to happen, guys. Football nil in the match. And this crowd in London are pissed. I'm quite they frankly furious. I'm quite frankly stunned that Hulk Hogan has let Balor beat him four times. Never mind one. <laughs> <laughs> A, an absolute shocker here. Hang on, Hogan now. He's going for that bat breaker. He's working on Balor's back. Smart strategy. If you injure Balor's back, you'll have a hard time standing up vertically. Yeah. I mean I know I know things are strong things are bigger and stronger when that things are bigger and stronger when they're blue, but obviously Hogan just can't handle the power of blue. Like other blue like wrestlers in the business. Well, well, it's he's facing, he's like he's facing a, a blue wrestler. Well, yeah, but Hogan, Hogan, Hogan just can't handle the power of blue. It's just too right. much for him. Blue and black beats oh, blue, and, uh, blue and white, I guess. Uh oh, Hogan's taking bad to the top, guys. This could be well, it. Super Hogan's going to go up. Don't worry, we reinforce the rain. Here we go. Oh, oh. Balor hit hard. Back and well, spine the, the other, first. The other more popular How blue wrestler doing? does wear blue and black as opposed to blue oh, and white. So I think it's the white Ooh. that's doing it, you know? Yeah. And Hogan, Hogan has a great opinion. This. And Hogan has a lot Ooh. of opinions about the power of white, I'm sure. So uh, Man, I, I agree with this crowd. I'll this is awesome. There. This has been an awesome match so far. Wait a minute, Hogan is with a ball slam. Hogan's here. Hogan's here. Can Hogan, Hogan get on the board here? Yes, yeah, come on. Get on the board board. You see how the referee hesitated One, there? Two, he got it. Uh, the, the ref knows if he counts. If he counts Balor down, his job might be in jeopardy. Yeah, yeah, no, where are you going? Where are you Where's going? Rick Flair, Rick Flair, Rick Flair oh. coming to the ring with the yeah, clock? Yeah, he, should be, he needs to be watching the clock, Bradley. Well, get back there. It's not safe out there, but Balor made it to the ropes. Someone that get was a bad, clock bad, bad boy. needs to be watching the clock. Please, please, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Flair's gone out, though. I can see him. But Hogan, meanwhile. Oh, no. oh Hogan. He's teaching Balor a lesson. Choke slam. The last Hold thing on. we need is Ric Flair out here. Hey guys, I think I figured out what's happened here. The last thing we need is Ric Flair, guys, period. I just figured it out. Hogan's worn Balor out, and now he's starting to get the jump on him. I think he used the rope dope strategy he did on the, him. He, Maybe. he did the rope dope I suppose. I did not see that coming. There's the bear hug. It's quite brave considering he's about twice the size of Balor. Balor's struggling. Oh, oh he's tapped. Oh, he's tapped. Oh, wow. Oh, tapped. 
Hogan well, squeezing the life out of Balor. Ooh. First time I've ever seen that it's with a bear good. Hogan since 1975. Look out! Oh no, Hogan's gonna oh, tie this one off. Oh. Is this gonna be... There's been a three good one! Four. Is this That's gonna be a second four, decision in about 30 seconds? Oh, it is! Three, it's 4-3 wow. now! Three. Hogan, Hogan, Hogan now has the points. momentum. The momentum is on Hogan's side. Come on, Hulk. You can do it. Hogan, Hogan got Hogan three was... decisions in about two minutes. He did. He's absolutely worn out. Bell to the point where he gets oh. even up. Small package is oh. This could do oh, it. Four, four. One. Two. two. No. Finn Hogan just needs Hogan. one more to tie it up. Come on, Hogan. Hogan. I thought Hulk Hogan had nothing to do with small packages. At least that's what the court documents said. Yeah, well, you know, Terry Belay does. His career. God, Finn Balor is in shock. His game plan has been thrown out the window. He's I getting think desperate we're all in now. Shock. London is in shock here. I think we could have a new champion. Hogan just might pull this one off here. Here at Russell Price, live in London, the final stop to the Art of War. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Five three. Yeah. Fives of three, Ballas Black and blue. Hurt. Black and blue is what, dominant over blue and white. I don't know what he did. I don't know what Ballard did. He must have choked out Hogan to keep his shows down for three seconds there. He used the ropes, a dirty uh, tactic. I mean, you, you know Hogan's going to go with the blue and white over the blue and black anyway. Oh, yeah, Hulk Hogan doesn't Let's go to up to the top. No! Who did cry? No! No, again! Six, red, three now. Hogan, what? Six, three. Come on. Two. Two. Damn it, six to what, a, what an absolutely! I don't think it, Hogan hasn't been dominated like this in a Deadly long time. Years. Uh, he's been out wrestled. Has out Hogan scored. ever been beaten six times in one night? No, no, no he has not. not. I don't think so. Bal is just proving that no matter how big you are, smaller guys can seem to get the job done. What? Well, Roll up! Hogan, he caught him! He caught him! He caught him. He got the legs oh, hooked. One. Oh, yes, Hogan, uh, Hogan did it! But Hogan he now needs to get this match back to a, a manageable level yeah, here. But, yeah, but he, he needed to do that a couple of minutes ago. He's now two more down again. I, I agree. I mean, with every did second the clock is there? ticking down, Hogan's we don't even know how much in. time is left here. Hogan, Hogan's down by Maybe two, and there could, be any, there could be anything from 10 minutes to 10 oh. seconds left on the clock. If only what we could see it, Rick. That was a falling drop kick by Finn Balor. Another Kulu cross. So, oh my god. Yeah, I think we're we're at That's the 20, it. 25 oh, minute oh, mark oh, here. Oh, it's three. seven to four. Hogan's, oh, oh, Hogan's guts have got to be destroyed after all those coups de grace. I hope he didn't and eat anything tonight. Balor's hit the lucky seven. He's seven to four upon Hogan. I think Balor's in the luck. But right now he wants to even up. He wants to go eight and yeah, this, over Hogan. This isn't this Please. isn't luck. This is domination. After all those Actually impacts wide. to the gut, after all those impacts to the gut, Hulk Hogan is going to be having a brown trouser moment. Well, Bell said he was going to bullet shoot Hulk Hogan into bits, and he's done it. He's keeping well, his voice um, noise. No, he has. I hope not. Oh, big boo! Those trunks aren't very big. If Hogan has a brown trouser moment, we'll know. Oh, the knee to the head. Oh, oh no. what a surprise. Oh, what, oh, what, what the hell? Oh, he needs to be watching the clock. Look at me. Look at me, Terry. <laughs> Watch the clock. Where's what the, the, the hell clock, are you doing out dickhead? Oh, no. Oh, the ball of the No, not, not like this. Now we're off the action. Wait a minute. How did he get He's got the he left got hand on. Oh my god, it backfired! It backfired! It backfired, it backfired Rick! Seven to five, Hogan oh. distracted. Oh. What do you think oh. of that, Nature oh. Boy? Oh. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. Hogan's gonna oh. take oh. the Yeah, you should have oh. just left Fowler Wait. alone, Rick. Leg drop! No, oh. he's gonna do it! No. No. Hogan's gonna pull no. it with this one! Come on! No. Come on, Rev! Oh, get in position! Yes! Yes, we did it! One Come more, on, Hogan! One more! Ring the bell! Ring the bell! What? Ring the bell right now! Ring it! Bell. No, no, no! Ring it! There's still time left! The timekeeper's arguing with Rick Flair on the outside! He's still got plenty of time left! Ring the damn bell! Right now! I reckon there's about five minutes on the clock, surely! 
Oh, there's no, there's no, there's, there's uh, still time left. The, the, the time, the ring, the timekeeper is arguing. You know what? You're fired. Give me this same thing. Oh no, he's what is he, what is he doing? What is, what is happening? The tournament you did not can. expire. Did Ric Flair just ring the bell? Oh, he come did. on. He did. He just won What a it. farce. What a farce of a matchup. Guys, what I've got the clock here. Company. We had five minutes left in the match, and Flair just screwed over Hogan. We had five extra minutes left, and Flair rang the damn bell. And I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Balor is not going to be pleased when he sees this on the replay. I'm telling you. I don't think he's aware. None of us got are pleased. Up. We wanted to see this match end in a clean victory for both these men. They put on a hell of a show, and Flair just Hogan had all the momentum on his side. He was within one of tying it up, and Ric Flair just rang the dumb damn bell like he's Vince McMahon in '97. It's yeah, it's like Montreal all over again. He just, and he he fired the timekeeper and took the bell himself. The distraction didn't work I've either. I've just seen the referee go running through the crowd. Yeah, that was Who's Tim White. That was Tim White. Well, it's a, it's a disgrace. It. It's an absolute it's disgrace. Absolute disgrace. Tim Balor has disgraced the world title. Balor has disgraced everyone. No, he's proven he, anything. No, 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 Glenn. Tim Balor hasn't. Ric Flair has <sighs> disgraced the wrestling business. See, I told you, Ric Flair. I made my point. I proved it to you. I proved it to myself. I proved it. To all those jerk off WWE fans who believed that Hulk Hogan was going to beat me. But you saw it with your own eyes. I was more than capable of beating the Hulkster. But you know something, Hogan. You damn well pushed me to my limits. But I even proved to you that you were not on my level. But you damn as hell put me through it. You pushed me through my limit. Yet I still... Walked out on top, seven to six, within 30 minutes. You did, however, made me go through hell. And I survived. The WWE and all the higher-ups out there, they can now fully acknowledge a true World Heavyweight Champion. That being Fimbala himself. So, like Flair, can you be honest? I finally got rid of the biggest threat to the WWE and to this world title that I earned. Oh no, he's gonna well, swallow this up now. Well, 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 Finn. Congratulations, son. You have done amazing representing Fortune and defending that WWE World Heavyweight Championship. But... He did not. I'm afraid that the wrestling god has some bad news for you, Finn. As you see, uh -oh. how many times have I told uh, you not to defend the championship unless you run it through me or unless I approve the match? Multiple times! And yet, you continue you you didn't. in the championship time and time again. It's on your TV show, you've so you dozy twat. it seems you've left me no other choice. You see, the former owner, Mr. Barker, he headed and stated where any man who holds the lucky who holds the television championship and go win seven title defenses will get a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh -huh. But, Glenn Barker isn't here, is he? No, no he was a hundred times not. the book of you were This in is my WWE. And I say this. the lucky seven. What? <laughs> as the soul <laughs> oh, you, of the that WWE, was my idea. I, came up I with hereby that. cancel the lucky seven. Oh. And you know what, Finn? Uh oh. Andrade Glenn, he is gonna okay, hand me point. his television championship because he doesn't want this little this championship. This was just a stepping stone to get to the main thing, which is so the World Heavyweight the Championship. Shit and Andrade thinks the TV you forced my shit. hand. You forced me to do this early. So now, at the art of war, it will be Finn Balor. 
versus Andrade Cien Alamos. Wait a sec, huh? For the WWE oh, World Heavyweight Come on, fans, Championship. What are you doing? Uh-oh. The exit's oh, the over here, here fans. Come on. Young Bucks, just take it easy. Flynn knows what it's doing. One at a time through the fire exit, guys. Come on. Now, Andrade, you want a real piece of the real Finn Balor at the Art of War. But you've got that belt there. All you'd have to do would get six wins and you would have got it. No, he doesn't because he's, he's got Fire rid of it. Has dispatched out. That was like he said in the rules. Single file, guys. We'll get all the cars the out. Single file. That don't mean anything. It wouldn't matter who had that belt. No matter who would have gotten seven wins to get this belt here. They will all fall. It doesn't matter. He's got rid of that whole rule. I was promised Kiro Paisano. Pretendente. Kiro al demano. Wait, what? Finn, I don't want a man. Did he just say. Give me the demon. Oh, oh you got a death wish. Oh, no. Wait a second. Did you want me that Wait badly? Wait a second. Whether it was just me or the demon Balor. All I can tell you, come the art of war. You're gonna get a side of Balor that you haven't seen. It may be a Prince Devitt, the man that changed the game of New Japan Pro Wrestling. It could be the Finn Balor from the previous XT time. But I'll guarantee you one thing, Andrade. When that bell rings, it's either put up or shut up. But may the best win out of both of us. But as long as fortune has controlled this title, regardless of the outcome, we hold the power. So I extend this hand to you. Best of luck, Andrade. Cause you are gonna need it. Once you step into the ring with Finn Balor, there's no turning back. We are all in the same ballpark. We are all in the same faction. You just need to fall in line. So Finn Balor, Andrade and myself will see you at the art of war. Woo! Damn, Flair screwed all of us tonight. Damn. Double damn.